Alright guys, well let's get right into it. Ryan Garcia will return to the ring before the end of the year. BoxingScene.com has confirmed that Golden Boy Promotions has holds at venues in at least two states for the planned November 18th featuring the top star in its stable. Mexico's Oscar Duarte is among the leading candidates to next face Garcia in a junior welterweight bout, though at least two other opponents were in the mix as this goes into publication. Locations in Arizona and Texas are being explored for what will mark Garcia's return as a headliner on a DAZN exclusive event. International Boxing News was the first to reveal the possibility of Duarte, 26 wins, 1 loss, 1 draw, 21 by way of knockout, as a potential Garcia opponent. The 27-year-old from Paral, Chihuahua, rebounded from a February 2019 split decision defeat to Adrian Estrella with 11 straight wins all inside of the distance. A fight with Garcia will require a move up in weight for Duarte, who has spent the bulk of his 10-year career at lightweight. There are several factors in play for the event to move forward, least of which are finalizing an opponent or location. Golden Boy still has an active lawsuit against Garcia, which was originally filed June 16th in the United States District Court of Nevada. Garcia, 23 wins, one loss, 19 by way of knockout, filed a motion to dismiss in August, after which point Golden Boy added a breach of contract claim in an amended complaint earlier this month. The matter is set to go into mediation mid-October, where the two sides see eye to eye is the first for the 25-year-old box office star to remain active. Garcia has not fought since an April 2022 seventh round knockout defeat to Gervonta Tank Davis. The Showtime pay-per-view headliner remains the highest grossing event of the year with reported 1.2 million pay-per-view units sold and a live gate of roughly 22.8 million in ticket sales from a sold out crowd of 20,842 at T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas. A well publicized event also featured the first signs of trouble between promoter and fighter. All of Famers and Golden Boy heads Oscar De La Hoya and Bernard Hopkins were both fixtures throughout the promotion, but noticeably absent from the post fight press conference. Garcia and Goosen subsequently parted ways, citing an amicable split. The fallout between Garcia and his estranged promoter was anything but that. De La Hoya took their beef public, calling out his star client on Twitter prior to the lawsuit filed against the Victorville, California native. It is believed that the two sides will find common ground for the sakes of Garcia's fight later this fall, with hopes that the October mediation will help resolve any lingering issues. All right, guys, so what do you think about Ryan Garcia versus Duarte? And, um, what we believe is that if O'Hara Davies doesn't fight Roley, O'Hara Davies is going to fight Barossa. And then after that, the winners will fight each other. So what do you guys think? Let us know in the comments below. Um, let us know what you think about Duarte. Do you think that he's um, a contender? I know where he's moving up in weight, which is already something that, you know, maybe uh, obviously this is a comeback fight for Ryan Garcia. Ryan Garcia needs to win and the matchmaking knows that Ryan Garcia needs to win. I think everyone knows that. But is this guy going to give Ryan Garcia a run for his money? Is it going to be an exciting fight? Uh, let us know in the comments below, guys. We also heard that might take place in the Hulu Theater in Madison Square Garden, but nothing is confirmed. Uh, let us know in the comments below what you guys are thinking. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and also share the vid. Also follow us on Twitter at Sportbox TV and Instagram at Sportbox TV Official. All right, guys, we appreciate all of the support. Take care.